But Vic wasn't wearing any bling. That's not just because of tonight's job. See, most of the guys that like to wear their jewelry, myself included, but Vic had always been more low-key. Just that ring. A clotta, he called it, or some damn thing like that. It was nice looking and all. A bit girly, but, you know, overall it was nice. Looked a bit strange on Vic's big hand, though. My sister gave it to me. It's a long time ago. She was gonna... Forget it. Let's go. And then there's my right-hand man, Remy. He's the type of kid who acts like he knows everything, but really doesn't know Jack. His Christian name was Rembrandt, named after the painter, so he thought he was more cultured than the other guys in the block. Always obsessing on his hair and his expensive pomade from Europe. But my money says if you asked him or his old lady what their favorite Rembrandt painting was, they'd freeze up like a dumbass statue. But he had a good heart. He was a tough kid and a loyal friend. We'd had each other's back since before I can remember. We didn't roll out on a job without the other. I knew Remy and I got steady work these days because of Victor and not the other way around. And while the other crews were sitting on their asses or bullshitting back at the bar, Vic, Rem, and I were working, making steady bank. Victor had his back with the guys that counted. Like that job last month on the south end. It wasn't strictly my fault things went sour, but, you know, I, I should have been looking for that damn second alarm. And Victor told me to take my time, but I had visions of what I would do with all that money. New car, maybe. Or that trip Mary and I had been talking about to the islands. I mean, Seattle winters suck now even worse than usual, and I could really see myself sipping on one of those fruity drinks on the beach and marrying a bikini in the sun or something. I know the bosses were a little pissed after the South End job, and Victor confirmed that. But they gave me tonight's gig as a way to make amends. I didn't mind, of course. After all, the score from tonight would be enough to cover my nuts, plus pay back the bosses for their losses. And Vic says this warehouse we're headed to has upwards of 800 grand in it, maybe even a mil. Vic, we're good. For a box that says A67312. Got it? Got it. Vic, it's empty. Vic. Pete, I'm sorry. Last month, last month you fucked up. I got no choice. Mary, man, Mary and I were gonna take a trip. All right, no one will ever hear from us again. You can tell him you did me, man. Remy will understand. I gotta do Remy next. I can't have him trying to get revenge or some shit. Look, Pete, I'm sorry. You know what'll happen to me if I don't? You don't have enough to stay hidden? You spend too much money, Pete. You always have. Not you, Victor. Anybody but you, man. Please. 
but I knew how Victor worked. He always got the job done. I wasn't ready. Vic was my friend. I had him and Remy and that was it. I mean, I had Mary, but that was different. She didn't know what I did, and quite frankly, she didn't want to. And now it wasn't just coming for me, but for Remy too. It was fucked, plain and simple. Just turn around! Vic! Just turn the fuck around! Turn around! I feel bad about taking Vic's Clotter. What else was I gonna do? If Vic would have done the same, it'd have been me at the bottom of that box. I know I killed him and all, but he was my best friend. If I didn't whack Vic, both me and Remy's heads would have been. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, it's Rem, uh, it's it's Remy. No. All right. So, Pete whacked Vic, but I got Pete. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right.
the drug and I need the score. Show me now, show me now, hit the one. Boy, let's go away, the beat goes on. Stitch it tight, catch it free. Love is the drug, got a hook on me. Oh, get that buzz. Love is the drug you're thinking of. 